thought I'd pop on and do this short video because I've just come across a clip which I find very interesting. So I'm going to play it for you. And let me know what you think. This is from Mark Williams Thomas, the detective, the private investigator, or whatever it is. But it's three, four minutes, 54 seconds, but we're not playing it all. Honestly, I'm not. Jay Slater family detective tells exactly why area body was found is dangerous. Early in the search for their missing son, Jay Slater's family were joined in Tenerife by former police detective Mark Williams Thomas as attempts by local authorities to find him proved fruitless. Over the coming days and weeks, he investigated several leads gathered on the island and became a pillar of support for Jay's mum and dad, Debbie Duncan and Warren Slater, as he tried to answer their questions. Today, in news Jay's family have been dreading, civil guard officers announced they had discovered human remains near Masca, which are feared to be the missing teens. Here, Mr. Williams Thomas, who has previously handled a number of high-profile missing persons cases, reveals in his own words what the, the last four weeks have been like for Jay's family and exactly why the area where the body was found is so dangerous. Four weeks to the day after Jay went missing and his family never giving up hope they would find him alive. It was late morning on Monday and Jay's parents were asked to attend the police station for an update. They attended hoping for a positive update. What they learnt was every parent's nightmare. Human remains had been found and they fitted the description of Jay, his clothing and personal belongings being found with him. To compound the devastating news even further, he was found at a pretty inaccessible place not far from the spot where Jay had sent his location to two friends shortly before 9am, four weeks earlier to the day. The area where the body was found was highlighted yesterday afternoon with the search and rescue helicopter in the area. It is around a 20 minutes walk from the pin drop location. The terrain is rough and hazardous, and having now seen the video of the search team on Monday morning and that the helicopter was in the same area on Sunday afternoon where the body was recovered, it is clear to see just how treacherous and dangerous it is a slip or loss of... Did you hear that? The helicopter was in that area where his body was found on the Sunday afternoon. However, they didn't find his body till the Monday. So, please, why was the helicopter up there? That's interesting to know, and hopefully we will find out. So, why was the helicopter up there in the spot where they found Jay on Monday morning? Why was the helicopter up there on Sunday afternoon? I've got more to come. Till later. Thank you for being here.